It's where some of pop stars have found fame. ABBA, Celine Dion, Bucks Fizz all began their careers at the Eurovision Song Contest. Back in 1957, Britain entered for the first time with a 22-year-old singer from Hull called Patricia Breeden. Almost 60 years on, BBC Radio Humberside tracked down Patricia to her home in Nova Scotia in rural Canada. Now in her 80s, she can still recall taking those first steps towards stardom. Singing in Frankfurt, Germany for the finals was wonderful because they had about a 60-piece orchestra and it was like being on clouds. It was wonderful. Patricia had grown up in Hull and joined the Hull Amateur Operatic Society while still a pupil at Newland School. Then an audition took her to London and led her to Eurovision. They had a problem because nobody would sing that terrible little song called All. And it so happened that the producer's secretary, Frances Essex, came to the Savoy Hotel where I was singing and went back to Frances and said, there was this sweet young thing who sang divinely, let's get her to sing this terrible song. So I was summoned to the BBC, sat down. Would you care to be on the television? Television? I'd never heard of it. I didn't know what they were talking about, but it could be candy, and you don't say no to candy. Here comes the fourth round in your search for number one British song, 1956. So Patricia was entered into a series of televised heats and beat competition from some of the best-known singers of the day. She knocked out some huge competition. I mean, Ronnie Hilton was, you know, number one at the time that he, he did the contest. So, yeah, she did great, but unfortunately she didn't do great at Eurovision. She finished seventh out of the ten songs. By not releasing the single, I think she also lost an opportunity to have a hit. May we hear another gem from your repertoire? They may not have been a hit song, but it started a showbiz career. This is Stella Stoker, your only professional candidate. Patricia starred in the film Left, Right and Centre opposite Hull's Ian Carmichael. She sang on many variety shows, had film and TV roles alongside Sid James and Roger Moore, and even sang at a special show to celebrate Winston Churchill's 90th birthday. Once upon a time, many years ago. Then in 1962, she got her first role on Broadway. Oh yes, in the musical Camelot. I took over from Julie Andrews, uh, a lovely lady, absolutely charming. Mm. It was fun being on Broadway. But then the star's life took quite a turn. Patricia left the UK and her glamorous showbiz lifestyle and moved here to rural Canada and started a cow farm. And you can find out why she chose cattle over singing on tomorrow night's Look North. Anne-Marie Tasker, BBC Look North, Nova Scotia, in Canada.